here family welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome on back if you're returning i always appreciate you all returning back for more today is an extremely exciting video for me because guess what y'all you probably already saw it in the title but we finally hit 1,000 subscribers <laughs> I am so, so excited and I'm so grateful to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, who has liked my videos, who have watched my videos, who have commented on my videos and all the above. I truly do appreciate you all. I am gonna be doing a giveaway in this video. The details will be at the end, so you gotta watch in order to know how to win the giveaway. But it is just like a thank you to all of you all who are supporting me um, and it will be a she in gift card because you all love my sheet in videos you all love my hauls and my sheet in videos get the most traction so i figured let me go ahead and give these people some money some coins so they could spend on a sheet in haul of their own and if you end up doing a haul on your social media please share the link with me so i can check it out i would absolutely love to see what you end up picking up okay so let's go ahead and go through the usual spiel Today's video, as you saw in the title, it is gonna be a Shein haul. Shein sent me tons of cute looks. I was able to pick out some pieces, so we're gonna go ahead and go through them. Today, I am not doing a styling haul lookbook. I'm just gonna be trying on the items, just so we can kind of get through um, the video. And I am going to be trying on the items as I'm walking you through what the item is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these looks. All right, sis. so I actually had made a purchase from Shein. I think it was over a month ago, so I am really slacking. I apologize, y'all. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you all two pieces that I purchased from Shein that I have not made a video for. The first item that I'm gonna show you is this really cute blazer. This I picked out and you know, I bought myself. I hope this blazer don't mess up the microphone, y'all. But this is the blazer here. I think this blazer is really cute. I actually had picked it out for spring because I thought these colors and the floral print was gonna be a really cute spring look. I was thinking about brunch. I was thinking about just going out and stunting and flossing, but we didn't unfortunately have a spring. I still think she can transition into summer. So I have her, she's on ready, she's on go. She's ready to be worn outside. You can actually probably even wear this to the office. It depends on how conservative and you know, the type of clothing that they expect you to wear at your um, place of work. But I didn't really get this for work. It can be worn for work, but that's not what I got it for. I got it just for fun. Like I got it to wear out for fashion. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you all the back, how it looks. Now, one thing I can say is that I thought it would be a little more structured. This material is really loose, but it's still cute. Again, I've said in plenty of my videos before, fashion over function. Sometimes we are getting pieces for the look, for the fashion, for the style, not necessarily for the functionality of it. So this, in my opinion, is definitely a fashion over function piece. Let me stop rambling, I'm talking too much, but yeah, this is the blazer that I got from Shein. The next item I got is another blazer. I actually did get this one with work in mind. I noticed that I did not have a black blazer that actually fit me properly, which is a crying shame because I've been at my job for almost six years. So, you know, six years too late to get a blazer that fits right. But um, I picked up some weight over time and the blazers that I had when I first started working, they just didn't fit. So I ended up getting this one. It's a long line blazer. As you can see, it stops, you know, very far down it goes past the buttocks area past the booty and it rolls up like this is not actually let me not speak wrong so you can roll the sleeve down i didn't realize you could but i wouldn't wear it like that it has a button here on the outside so it makes me know that it's supposed to be worn rolled up it kind of gives like a three-fourths like three-quarter length sleeve and i like the fit I personally wouldn't button it up because it fits a little too snug around my hips with the button. I would just leave it open. But this is another blazer that can be worn both casual and like professional. Um, but again, like I said, I got it for work. It's really cute. It's just a simple black blazer. Y'all get a black blazer in your closet. You need one in your life, whether it's for work or every day. You can wear it with denim jeans. You can wear it with a button up and slacks. It is so versatile and you need to get one. 
So check the link down below if you're interested in this particular one. Okay, this skirt is so cute. I am so glad I picked it, y'all, because when I first saw it, I thought it was gonna be way too short. Um, Cause I, if you saw my video last week, you know that I mentioned a lot of Shein skirts are far too short for my liking, but this skirt is cute. I'm finding that as long as I get a size large, the skirts will fit me appropriately. But I paired it with this cute um, mustard bathing suit top that I just had on and I think this is a look. This whole outfit is really, really cute. It is loose fitting, but I like it. I don't want it to be too tight. Let me let you all see it in the back. I don't want the skirt to be, sorry y'all, keep covering up my microphone, but I don't want the skirt to be too um, tight. Personally, I wanna be able to move in it and then also just holding my arms down. Like the skirt almost stops at my fingertips. So I'm really happy with the fit and I actually have it really high up. I love these cute buttons that go down. They're like these tortoise color buttons that go down the left side of the skirt and then it leads to this really cute, tasteful split right in the thigh area. It is really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the shirt that I actually had picked out to pair with this skirt. A lot of times when I shop on Shein's website, I like to shop for outfits. So I'll pick bottoms, but I also try to pick a top that I think, or tops, multiple tops, that I think I can wear or that I know I can wear with those bottoms. I don't just pick, ooh, that skirt is cute, let me just buy it and not know what I'm gonna wear it with. Unless obviously you have something that you know you can pair it with, but make sure when you're shopping, not just Shein, but when you're shopping online in particular, try to pick outfits in your head so that that item is not sitting in your closet gathering dust <laughs> for years because you don't even know what to wear it with. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you all the top that I had in mind to wear with this skirt when I picked it out. Okay, so this is the top that I had picked out to pair with this skirt. This underwiring, I don't know what's going on here, but it is like lifting up from my body. Like it won't stay, you know, attached to my body here. Also, um, I got this in a medium and I usually wear medium in Shein and sis, this is extremely loose. I'm gonna be honest and say, I don't care for this top. It's not, in my opinion, made um, to fit, like at least my body properly. I don't know if it's because, you know, I'm small chested and that's why the underwire isn't fitting me right. I'm not really sure what's going on. I kind of wish I had gotten a small just to see how it would fit better, but it is a cute top. Let me let you all see in the back. It clips here, kind of like a bra does. And it's a bodysuit, so it is a bodysuit top. It's a cute concept, but mm -mm, it's not working for me at all. Um, I might still wear it. I'll probably end up actually wearing like a strapless bra underneath instead of just pasties, because I'm not liking at all how this is looking. But let me go ahead and back up so you all can see at least what I had in mind when I was looking at this outfit. And I probably would pair it with like some Perspect heels, some clear um, heels. You all have seen it in my videos before, the clear pointy heels. Or you could pair it with some cute strappy, uh, strap up the leg, black sandal heels as well. But let me go ahead and show you all the next item. Okay, so this is the next piece. It is a pair of denim shorts and I'm here for them. They are really cute. My only concern with them, and it's not really a concern on Shein's end, it's just the shape of my body. My waist is smaller than like my hips and butt area. So the waist on a lot of pants, they tend to fit me really loose and I have to get them that way because in order for it to fit, you know, the bottom area, they have to fit loose on my waist. But don't fret sis, if you're like me, a woman with a waist that's smaller than um, her bottoms, invest in a really cute thin belt because you can always give your um, pants, your shorts or your bottoms a paper bag kind of waist look by just throwing on a really thin belt that cinches in the waist, put it as tight as you need it to be, sis, and voila, your pants or your shorts fit you on your waist. You have like somewhat of a paper bag style and they still fit you in your hips and your butt area. So that is a tip that I would highly recommend. So now you all see it fits in the back, no problems there and we good to go. So yeah, make sure you invest in a small, like thin 
um, belt, particularly black or any neutral color, it'll take you a long way. I got these in a size large and I'm happy with the fit. Outside of the waist being too big, which can easily be fixed by either getting it tailored or simply investing in a small thin belt you could find at the thrift store, just buy you a dollar belt at the thrift store and you've instantly elevated your looks. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and show you the next item. The next item it is a really pretty, um, I feel like the color is not coming through for some reason, but this shirt is cute. It has like the ruffle lettuce trim, I believe it's called, and you can button it as, this is the highest it goes, but you can button it all the way down ain't doing that it's not cute that's why i just button like three buttons here left it open here show a little stomach area look a little cute and it fits nicely i think i could have actually sized down to a small this is a medium i usually just get medium across the board and tops with she in and i get large usually across the board and bottoms because that's typically what fits me but i think i could have definitely sized down in this to give it more of a fitted look I think it's cute and everything, but I really wish I had gotten a smaller size. Cause y'all imagine if, okay, I can't do it with it unbuttoned, but can you visualize it if it was like a little bit smaller and kind of just like hugged my waist a little bit, gave me a little more of a shape. So I feel like this is not giving me shape at all, <laughs> but it's still cute. I like this top. Don't get me saying that as me saying, I don't like it. I really like this top. I just wish it was a little more tighter. Still cute though. Y'all, this top is cute. It says a limited edition collectible. You are my treasure. This top is super cute. It's a t-shirt, it's real basic. That's why I put a little knot in it because when it wasn't knotted up, it was like a real basic. So I went on and made it into a cute crop top. It gave me a little snatchy waist right here and I'm loving it. And I know we are not styling today, but this top is giving me experience expensive vibe so I went on and brought out my little stunners she in from the last video go ahead and check the link in the last video to get your hands on these five dollar I believe don't quote me but I believe they were five dollars my glasses but yes with these glasses on I am feeling like I'm like somewhere in Paris all I need is some cute bottoms can you picture it some cute red flowy bottoms like some trousers or something like that i just think red would just make this whole look pop but yes this is cute y'all i love it if you are one of my og original subscribers i know you've seen this top you've seen her in black i think i've worn this top when doing a video i did a haul in this top this top is shown multiple times on my instagram because clearly i love it but it was in black i found out and saw that they had it in white and it was no questions asked. I knew I had to get it because white is perfect for springtime, summertime looks. Black is not necessarily a color that's typically worn in the summertime. I'ma still wear it. If I like it, if it's cute, I'ma wear it. But black draws and absorbs heat. So that's why I like wearing white when it's hot in the summertime because it doesn't absorb heat. So I am so happy I found this top. I ended up getting this one in a large. The previous one that I got was a medium. It doesn't fit too much differently. The only thing I noticed in the medium was that the elastic over my shoulders was a little bit tight. Like when I would take the top off, you could kind of see somewhat of the elastic mark that it left on my shoulders. So I went on and got it in a large and I'm so happy I did. It still fits well. It doesn't look loose. Let me show y'all in the back. Like she is still very much so cute, but I just feel a lot more comfortable in it. And this top is so versatile y'all this top is really perfect for summertime i really like the polka dots on it it gives it such like a feminine flirty and fun look um and i think you all will love this top a lot of you all were receptive of the black top so yes they have it in white check it out link is down below okay we are transitioning into two-piece sets and this is so freaking cute y'all i had seen this initially on idesign 8 youtube channel she posted a she in haul and she was wearing this and this looked so bomb so i said you know what let me go ahead and give it a try and see if it looks even half as good on me as it did on her and i love how it looks like it's really cute she in 
Y'all know you could have made this, <laughs> this little top a little longer. This is literally a bra. Like I had my bra on earlier and it's a padded bra and it was too thick to where it was making this little shirt thing rise up. Like this is not enough fabric she in. Y'all need to add maybe like one inch or even if it had had like an elastic band along the bottom here just to keep it from rising up. Cause if you raise your hand too fast, you might end up having a peekaboo show. So that is one thing that I will say I don't necessarily like, but again, not enough to stop me from wearing it because this is a look, it's real cute. It accentuates the right places as well as <laughs> the places you might not want it to accentuate but it does accentuate all the right places as well but this is how it looks in the back and let me step back you all so you can see how long this skirt is it stops mid shin which is absolutely amazing and this dress <laughs> this dress this jumpsuit or this two piece y'all i'm all over the place this two piece is gonna be a look i cannot wait the world is not gonna be ready for when i get up out this house like this is cute definitely check this one out y'all i think this is hands down my favorite piece like it's super cute y'all she in is delivering with these two piece sets this is another set that i saw my good sis i designed eight put on her page and when i first saw it i tried to go to she in's website and buy it y'all and it sold out so quickly after she like put it in her video. So just know this is a hot item. So if you like it, if you see it, I will stop everything right now, go to the link and get it because it sold out. She in did bring it back and I'm so glad they did because I was able to get it. I'm pleasantly pleased that this is a medium and it fits the way it does. I was real scared that the bottoms would not fit. And I have all this space, it has pockets as you saw me putting my hands in my pocket. It is kind of blending with my skin tone. So I feel like a black belt would be a nice pop to add to this set. But this set is cute. It is one shoulder um, and I think I'm wearing it right. I think it's supposed to kind of go like over your shoulder like this. And it's high waist. Let me show you all how it looks in the back. Oops, I keep covering up my microphone y'all. I apologize, but this is how it looks in the back i am so happy with this look it is so cute oh my gosh i love it like for real i really do like this if y'all don't check out anything else from this haul you need to check out the two two-piece sets that i just showed you because again they will sell out don't sleep on them because they will sell out y'all this dress and it's yellow it's yellow it's floral it's fitted in the right area. This is a medium and it does fit. I just wish the top was a tad bit more fitted, just a tad bit more fitted um, than it is. But then again, now that I'm looking at how the bottom fits, a small might not even have worked for me, but I just wish it was a little more tight, like right here. And then this was like really the only loose area. But yes, I like her. She is such a look. I think this dress will look cute for so many occasions. You can wear it to a summer wedding. You can wear it to church. There's just so many places you can wear it. You can wear it wine tasting. You can wear it to the wineries. Anything, y'all. You can wear it to work. That was actually um, something that I had in mind. I don't know if I'll personally wear this to work because when I go to work, I don't like to stand out too much. But sis, if you one of them women that you know you, you want to stand out a little bit but still look appropriate for work, this is the dress for you. It screams like and that's what it screams it just screams and like she's really cute i like the arms i don't know what this style is called um but it looks like you have wings and it gives you a figure like look at it it gives you a nice figure it's a look it's a look i'm here for it i'm all over the place y'all because i'm just really excited about this dress it's cute it's very cute all right y'all so that concludes the video i hope you all enjoyed it i had fun like i always do creating these videos for you all if you haven't already i don't know how you've gotten this far in my video and you haven't subscribed yet sis go ahead and subscribe to my channel click the notification bell next to the subscription box so you can be notified whenever your girl uploads amazing content such as what you saw today 
I'm going to quickly plug my Instagram page. I'm very active on Instagram. I try to post Monday through Friday. I post predominantly fashion, but I also incorporate food, skincare, beauty, lifestyle, and sometimes travel. So for the moment, I'm sure you've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and get into the details of the giveaway. So this is gonna be a simple giveaway. I don't want you all jumping through loops and hopping over hurdles to win this gift card. It's gonna be very simple. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, click the link in the description box that takes you to my Instagram page and follow your girl on Instagram at the stylish engineer. And then leave a comment letting me know what your favorite piece was as well as letting me know that you entered the giveaway. I will announce the giveaway winner in next week's video. So next Sunday, stay tuned for the video because that's when the winner will be announced. So good luck to you all. I hope you have a beautiful week. Stay safe, stay blessed. And as usual, stay stylish. Love you guys. Bye-bye.